Hello everyone, I was just walking past this jacaranda and I noticed flowers on the ground that I recognized as being from an incredibly interesting plant. I guess it's good timing too because it's the right time of the year to be standing under mistletoe. It has a few common names, uh, mistletoe, it's also known as lighted matches because the flowers look exactly like little matches that are burning. And it's also known as bird lime and I'll explain why it's called that in a minute. What it's, what's really interesting about this plant is that it's what's known as hemiparasitic. It lives off the sap from, from trees but it also has its own leaves which it creates food for itself from. It produces seeds which birds love. I think, I think barbets in particular love to eat them. They, they swallow the seeds and then fly along to the next tree and either regurgitate or defecate the seeds onto the branch. The seeds are incredibly sticky and they'll stick like glue to the branches and will begin to germinate pretty much straight away, sending down these tiny little roots called Hostoria down into the tissue of the host tree. It'll happily grow there for as long as the host stays alive. It won't kill the tree, but if there are obviously enough of them on a the tree, they'll weaken the tree and make it susceptible to diseases. But don't go cutting it off your tree if you see it, because they're also quite useful. They, they flower in winter and they provide nectar for birds when there's very little other food sources around. Here's another tree just a little further up the road. This, this is a toad tree and you can see how different the leaves of the tapenanthus are. And here's the last of its flowers. It's called bird lime because traditionally the seeds are chewed into a sticky pulp which is then smeared onto branches near nests. The birds land on it, they get stuck and then they, they can't fly away which gives the hunter a chance to come past and just catch the bird for I guess a somewhat meager supper. I think the larger group of plants called mistletoe have been associated with fertility throughout the world and they've actually been incorporated into Christmas traditions as a decoration that I think is supposed to give permission for a man to kiss any woman standing underneath it. But let's not go cutting it down for that. Hope you've enjoyed this little bit of information about this interesting plant. Thanks for watching. Share with anybody you think might be interested and happy gardening.